She was born into a prosperous family, but dedicated her life to the millions who crowded the slums of 19th century America. Her social programs lifted families out of poverty and taught them how to improve their lives. She fought for peace, reform of child labor laws, women's rights, and the protection of civil liberties. She is Jane Addams, an American woman of achievement. Chicago in the 1880s. Like many large American cities, it was a place of hope and a place of despair for the thousands of immigrants who dreamed of a better life in the new homeland. Many couldn't speak English, couldn't communicate, and didn't know American customs. They worked for low wages under terrible working conditions, simply to feed themselves and their families. Jane Addams saw the struggle to survive, but watching wasn't enough for Addams. She wanted to help, to make a difference. In the fall of 1889, Addams and lifelong friend Ellen Starr moved into a shabby, rambling old house. Once one of Chicago's finest mansions, Hull House now sat in the heart of one of Chicago's worst slums, among the tenements and sweatshops. Adams and Starr turned the eyesore into a place where children came to learn. Adults came to appreciate art and poetry. But most of all, Hull House was a place that inspired social change at a time when change was desperately needed. Hull House became the first settlement house in the United States. These were women-defined institutions which were formed by people like Jane Adams, Florence Kelly. Um, where women who were college graduates but really had no careers to go into because the society did not provide for careers for them, came together to live together in, um, in houses in, for the most part, uh, inner city areas of Chicago, New York, Boston, et cetera, to try to deal with the problems of the, of the immigrant populations and uh, the, the health problems of malnutrition and of uh, poor factory conditions and to work with the people in the neighborhood to try to make their lives better and different. With an army of volunteers, Jane opened a daycare center and started kindergarten classes. Those who came to Hull House could learn to speak English, take citizenship classes, participate, and enjoy theater productions and musical evenings. Because of Jane Addams, Hull House became a place where people who needed help found it. Jane Addams was certainly one of the most important women during her lifetime, a very influential person. Um, she started Hull House in 1889, and uh, out of this institution, she built a reputation uh, for uh, caring about human welfare on uh, many levels. She battled for the rights of women and children uh, and of the poor. Uh, she fought racism. Uh, she secured legislation, the passage of legislation, as I said, years before women had the vote. Uh, she was a progressive reformer of international proportions. Jane Addams was born on September 6, 1860, in the small town of Cedarville, Illinois, the youngest of five children born to John and Sarah Adams. Two years after Jane's birth, her mother, pregnant with her sixth child, died. With the country deeply divided over the issue of slavery, the 1860s were stormy, turbulent times. The bloody years of the Civil War were near. John Adams was a Quaker, adamantly opposed to slavery and war. A successful businessman and state senator, Adams often shared his anti-slavery views with good friend and Senate colleague, Abraham Lincoln. From an early age, 
Jane heard debates and discussions about slavery. Jane Addams, I think, had a very close and adoring relationship with her father. Uh, she was, uh, as a child, you know, she played at Abraham Lincoln's knee. She heard all sorts of discussions of the Civil War and the issues around the extension of slavery, et cetera, into the, colony, into the territories discussed. So her father showed her that a good person, a civilly conscious person, was, political, was politically active, took hard political stands, and fought for them. Along with a strong code of ethics, John Adams made sure his daughter received a good education. He believed in education for women and had a great influence on Jane Addams. In going to college in the 1880s was a member of the first generation of women in the United States to go to college in great numbers. She took this uh, responsibility seriously. Uh, she believed, as many women did, upper middle class women of, of that time, believed that women had a special